what's going on ladies and gentlemen beastly gamer here welcome to the beastly gamer channel today's video is to shine a light on some more goodness coming to the nintendo switch console i don't lie to you guys i like to be completely transparent and honest i haven't bought many games on my nintendo switch i think i bought three games so far and uh maybe i'm wrong for that who knows at this point i think for the most part i've got the best game on the console i'm not a huge racing kart fan so i haven't picked up mario kart on uh, the nintendo switch i just haven't gotten around to it and honestly i feel like the reason is because i've been playing other things i've been playing mostly on my ps4 trying out new games and new experiences been playing fortnite i uh, did a lot of beta playing recently tekken 7 is still huge on my list i've been playing i just actually completed super hot on playstation vr i still dabble in uh friday the 13th so i'm kind of in this mist of newer games uh, bigger budget titles and so with the nintendo switch in my mind at least i got the best game on the console i got you know the legend of zelda i played it right after i played horizon zero dawn and it drew parallels and in a lot of ways early on it showed a lot more promise as far as the world building so to me i got the best game on the console i don't want to go back over there and just do a lot of snk arcade games these are games i played 25 years ago you know it's good for nostalgia but for me i you know it just hasn't really captivated me and captured my attention uh, in the way that I really would have liked it to do. But there's more light at the end of the tunnel. I think within the next 12 months, we're gonna see some huge developments for the Nintendo Switch because this little bit of news shines a light on the fact that the Nintendo Switch is capable of doing some pretty decent games and making them look pretty damn good. I'll drop a link in the description. Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 coming to the Nintendo Switch. High definition ports to the new console, quite the revelation. Survival horror fans can soon take their terror on the go, thanks to Capcom's announcement that Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 will be coming to the Nintendo Switch. News came alongside the announcement from Capcom that Resident Evil Revelations will be released on PS4 and Xbox One. The titles will feature a 1080p resolution, better frame rate, as well as refined player movements and increased environmental details. All the DLC for both games will be bundled in, available as unlockable rewards, which actually makes this package even sweeter. Furthermore, the popular co-op raid mode will return with a remix stage called Ghost Ship Chaos, giving players access to more powerful weapons and upgrades as they face off against varied spawn placements. Uh, they haven't given any Switch details as far as pre-ordering or when the exact date will drop. Let me just say this. Resident Evil Revelations 2 is a decent game. Uh, I think that's pretty decent. It isn't a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. But it is not Resident Evil Revelations 1. Resident Evil Revelations was, in my opinion, before The Legend of Zelda came out, uh, the best handheld game I'd ever played. It was just really phenomenal. They were able to squeeze so much life out of a little tiny cartridge and stick it inside your 3DS and it just blew me away. I swear it was an amazing experience and for me to have that on the go or 700p on my Switch screen, you know, taking it out on the go, to me that's a huge benefit. It's a big check mark on games that the Nintendo Switch needs. It's also validation and verification that the Nintendo Switch can do some pretty graphically, I won't call it intense, but fairly modern graphics. It's not like the PS4 or the Xbox One, even though there are ports of PS4 and Xbox One games on the Switch. So this is really exciting to me. I think the Resident Evil Revelations, especially one, if you haven't played it, is so worth playing. I have it on PS3 and I have it on my Nintendo 3DS and I think it's phenomenal. And if you haven't tried it, you definitely should. Uh, Capcom went back and really dug down deep into the core, into the roots of what made the original Resident Evil series such a phenomenon. And they just let that breathe through Resident Evil Revelations. And it was a very creepy game, very foreboding environment. And it was just huge and really, really enjoyable. So I'm excited about this. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. If you could pick any game or any game series that you know of now as a Nintendo Switch port, which one would you choose? I know I don't like to talk about ports too much. I normally don't. But for me, if you can port some relevant games on PS4 and Xbox One over to the Switch, it bodes very well for the success of the console and Nintendo as a whole. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for my channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to support The Beastly Gamer, you can do so at my Patreon. There is a link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I'm The Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.